the falls of each planet and how to transmute the energy part two and in this part we're going to do mercury falls in pisces along with venus falls in virgo let's jump into it shall we now in this part i'm not going to go over like how the falls correlate and correspond to the low octave natures of these signs if you want to if you want more information and context behind that just watch part one so i'm gonna just get straight into it now mercury falls in pisces you tend to lack logic rationality and critical thinking skills you can also be very easily distracted and lazy minded unlike virgo where virgo is all about critical thinking um all about being focused on its analyzations and also you know working hard virgos are like the workaholics of the zodiac not just in you know human life and you know the jobs that they you know give us um along with the other earth element signs but you know they're there since virgo is the perfectionist it is right there in the middle of the zodiac so it could see the um uh, one half of the zodiac and then the second half of the zodiac and because of its position and its energy um you know they they naturally became where it's position in the zodiac spectrum they are you know the perfectionists of the zodiac because they they always see what could be better they always and this is why they're so pessimistic um they they're perfectionists they always see the flaws and everything and um we're gonna get into that later for the venus and virgo shit Let, right now we're, we're we're focusing on uh mercury and pisces now pisces the opposite of virgo it don't give a fuck about any of that shit pisces just want to go with the flow be free it's ruled by jupiter um and it just wants to delve into its imaginations or illusions neptune and you know pisces just could give a fuck less about the objective reality pisces is all pisces is all about the subjective imagination and and that world and shit so this is part of why pisces falls in mercury because mercury or our mind chakra um is like the it's like the antenna or the bridge between our inner world and the external world you know our mercury chakra it helps us comprehend what the fuck we're looking at and seeing um and all types of shit is it rules communication and language you know what i'm saying that that's how it also helps us comprehend shit so um without mercury we would all be kind of fucking retarded and dumb as hell really um and not to bash pisces but you know they <laughs> <laughs> they not the brightest of the bunch especially if you got mercury and pisces so you really want to pay attention to what i'm about to say right now to help y'all transmute y'all energies because a lot of mercury and pisces be having short attention spans due to the fact that they don't want to work out the mind or work on the mind and they don't want to study and observe reality they want to be in their own internal la la land shit if you have mercury and pisces that's where your thoughts are are gonna linger too and shit like that that's where your mind is gonna be if you a sun moon or ascendant this could this applies to you as well to a certain degree um pisces so yeah now so how can we transmute this energy so that you could utilize your mercury better if you have mercury and pisces this is what you got to do this is the transmutation you must learn how to learn in creative imaginative ways in order to comprehend things in a more detailed focused manner for example a lot of mercury and pisces are probably really good at learning if you if you like give them a visual like a lot of mercury and pisces in school they were what you would call visual learners you feel me uh, or they like to learn in fun ways through games or or even through allegories and stories without you know shit just being direct and straight up like mercury like mercury just gives you the information because that's why hermes is the greek god or the messenger of information and shit um 
but Pisces, it don't that it Pisces would think that's too boring or that's not creative enough or fun. You know, it don't care about the straight line or getting to the point. It wants that straight line to be a fucking zigzag and go like this and wave around and shit because it thinks that that's just funner that way. You feel me? That's just how Pisces operate. So it's best for y'all to like make learning as fun and creative and as imaginative as you can. You feel me? Like I said, visual learning or making a game out of something to, so you can learn whatever it is you're learning. Shit like that. You feel me? That That's one way you can transmute the energy of Mercury falling in Pisces if you have Mercury in Pisces or Sun Moon Ascendant Pisces. You feel me? Now, if working, if working on something, it's best if the work is tied to your dreams. That's another thing because y'all don't want to just work or hustle or improve or perfect something if it's not something that correlates and corresponds with your dreams. You know, like like Mercury and Pisces or just Pisces in general, Pisces energy in general, wherever you have it in your chart or whatever house you have it in. Um, through that filtering system, if it's not somewhat tied to your dreams and imaginations, then you're not even gonna motherfucking uh, work on it, you f pretty much, you feel me? So it's best if the work is tied to your dreams in some way, shape or form. Um, that's why a lot of, there's a few Pisces I knew in my lifetime that they would be, a lot of, not, not all of them, but some of them were like homeless and shit because they hated the work environment and just working a job so much that they'd rather be homeless. Now, some Pisces are able to to transmute off that and, and and you know while being homeless work on their dreams and shit. I'm not I'm not by the way, I'm not advocating Pisces to go out there and get home be homeless. No hell no. I would I've been there, done that. You don't want to fucking do that. Um unless you built like that and you feel and you, and you feel like that's part of your spiritual path. But I wouldn't recommend it as a Virgo myself, you feel me? But anyway, my point is a lot of Pisces will feel very depressed in the work environment if it has nothing to do with their dreams or creativity or imagination. You feel me? Like, like they would be bored as fuck. Like, like, a, like a Pisces with dreams of becoming an artist would be bored as fuck at some random ass office job for some fucking I don't know financial corporation or some shit. They, they would that would be like their hell. You feel me? They wouldn't like that. Um. So yeah just try to try to find a way to work on things that correlate with your dreams so that way you know you could have a pattern and routine or something to work on and improve on over time um and and then you could you could transmute the virgo energies in that way because remember you, what we, you, when transmuting energy from an astrology perspective it's always good to look at the opposite sign and the opposite energy because that's the energy you lack so take elements of virgo and take elements of Pisces and combine it. And that's the transmutation. So that's Mercury falls in Pisces. If you have Mercury in Pisces, or if you're a, a Pisces Sun Moon or Ascendant, hopefully that information helps you out a little bit. Now, let's jump into Venus falls in Virgo. And like I was said earlier, and like I was saying earlier, earlier before I went on, when I went on that earlier tangent with Virgo, to go back to that, you, you know how I told y'all like, Virgo is the perfectionist, is always trying to improve shit. It could be pessimistic because it sees the flaws and everything. Well, part of the reason why Venus falls in Virgo is because Venus is all about pleasures, it's all about um, beauty and beauty is in the eye of the beholder so virgo will always criticize every little thing any little flaw virgo will see it and venus don't like that that's part of why venus falls in virgo um uh you know this is why venus is exalted in in pisces because a lot of the things we like to pleasure ourselves in in life a lot of things we like to get lost in and just you know relate with and give attention to and energy to you know uh whether it's you pleasuring our five senses taurus type shit that fixed earth type shit venus type shit or if it's you know relating with things outside of us libra um in the external what and whatnot um 
this is how you know sometimes um, people get lost in reality through Venus because Venus is exalted in Pisces and Pisces is what Neptune Jupiter experiences illusions um, dreams and, and, and imaginations but you know when you combine that with too much Virgo energy I mean Venus energy um, it could Venus will ha eventually have such an amazing and great time that um, it could forget reality you feel me so it's like going on vacation and then never coming back type shit and <laughs> that's Venus and Pis exalted in Pisces like an exaltate like I said in the, in the in part one exaltations and falls are not good or bad it just depends on the user and the spirit using it you feel me people in, in 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 the astrology community will say no exaltations are good falls are bad but exaltation can be bad because you could over exhaust yourself and whatever the fuck you're exaltating yourself in you feel me like i just said venus in in pisces that exaltation could be like you going on vacation but never fucking coming back <laughs> like you going on a cruise and but then you forgot you have your own regular life and responsibilities back home and then your fucking whole house and car and everything gets repoed or or, or taken from the irs because you wasn't paying bills and taxes and shit you you've been gone for years on some fucking cruise in la la land <laughs> like that would be like the if you take the exaltation too far with venus in in um in pisces now with venus and virgo you know obviously it's the opposite so um it virgo has a very matter of fact virgo has a very hard time a, a matter of fact i always say this this quote it's hard work for a virgo to have leisure time or to it's or to dive and delve into their pleasures of, of into the pleasures of life and just relaxing and type shit venus type shit so um virgo had um it's hard work for a virgo to take a break is what i'm saying so that's part of why venus falls in virgo because virgo is such a workaholic you feel me and always constantly improving shit it m m virgos will feel will feel weird if they're not working on something in their life you feel me like they'll, they'll feel like uh uh like kind of empty inside or some shit like that so they they, they like to keep their uh their uh attention and mind on being productive you feel me that that that's so that's part of why venus <clears throat> falls in virgo because when we talk about venus we're talking about you know um like i said leisure time pleasures uh uh relating with life and just um enjoying what life has to offer in a way uh shit like that so venus with venus falling in virgo if you have virgo and venus you could be too worried and anxious about self-perfection you could be really harsh on yourself always criticizing life and going against the flow of groups going against that mutable water of pisces you could be mis misunderstood as the black sheep for this because you're always while people are just trying to relax and enjoy leisure time you're over here criticizing shit and being a quote-unquote party pooper or some people might even think you're a hater if you're really low low octave uh venus and virgo or just virgo sun moon or ascendant so you want to make sure that you know how to like lighten up and go with the flow um and if you are going to criticize shit you know do it in the most lightest way you possibly can without being too you know overly critical and sometimes you don't there's no need to even be critical you know like unless somebody asks you for your opinion you feel that's another thing virgo likes to give their two cents too much on shit that nobody even asked them for their opinion for then that's how you just could be known as the party pooper or the negative vibe in the party you don't know how to just go with the flow of the party because y'all constantly in that self-improving um type of energy that you feel like every everything else outside of you got to be self-improving at the same rate that you do but not everybody got all that virgo energy like you do that's that's the thing so that's the power of virgo but it's the also the con of virgo if y'all motherfuckers um constantly think that everybody else gotta be critiquing and improving as a, on as much shit as you do you feel me and then another thing about venus uh falling in virgo is that this can make you 
since virgo is such a workaholic you will have no time for the pleasures of life it's hard work to relax and chill like i said earlier um so yeah that's pretty much all the the low octave natures of virgo when it comes to venus falling in virgo <clears throat> now what's the transmutation for this the transmutation is this venus and virgo if you have venus and virgo or if you have sun moon and ascendant or wherever the hell, wherever the hell you have virgo in your chart apply it through that filtering system or whatever house you have it in um the transmutation is this for it to, to transmute the low octave energies of virgo you must find a healthy work and life balance so utilize that libra energy of of venus and then since you're already uh, the health nut, Virgo, you got to be aware that it's part of your health to have a healthy work and l life balance, pretty much like a healthy balance of hustling and doing your thing with relaxing and chilling because you need to charge and you need to charge or recharge in order to go back out there and do what you can so you don't over exhaust or burn out yourself. Um, which is something I've done in my life personally too, as, as, as me being a son Virgo. So I could speak on this shit. I don't have Venus in Virgo, but I am a son Virgo. You feel me? Uh, so yeah, that's important. Learn how to take breaks, spend some time in life, enjoying life when you need it. You feel me? I'm not saying you got to slack on your work or your hustles, but um, just know how to pace yourself in this life have more balance in that in, when it comes to work life and just regular life chilling and shit like that you feel me because life itself ain't all about just work 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 unless you want to put yourself in that put yourself in that hell <clears throat> uh, so yeah learn to find that balance and then utilize that Libra energy from Venus to do so you feel me learn to go with the flow and let go more and let go more often learn to be less harsh when criticizing add more water elements to your critic your criticisms you feel me i'm a moony mercury baby so i do this naturally with my cancer energies if i am going to critique something i do it in like a way where uh you know people could understand the vibration behind the critique is not no hate and shit it's really just like um some uh what's that shit called um oh constructive criticism yeah just make sure if you are going to give some constructive criticism you do it in the vibration of it not being too much um like an asshole pretty much that's what you got to do it kind of reminds me of the sun falling in libra but it's like the opposite like libra they can be too much of a yes man and and and, and don't know how to you know give out their true opinion without without you know having too much opposing energy or friction when going against an opposing opinion it's kind of like that except we don't have the problem of being a yes man virgos have the problem of being too much of an asshole <laughs> or a dick <laughs> just the way we say shit it's like motherfuckers would think you're a hater and shit so you gotta just learn how to like i don't know try to be more nice <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how else to say it i do it naturally because i'm a moony mercury baby but if you have a lot of virgo on your chart and if you don't have enough water elements and uh, for you to make the vibration more uh uh i guess you know more what's that word called making the vibration more um um, understanding you feel me more um, more intuitive and more catering to the emotion of somebody rather than just being you know straight um straight no fucks given no mercy just straight crit crit criticizing something like without even putting some type of like uh emotional uh reassurance reassurance behind it or you could utilize more air energy more air element energy and just be more relatable like like libra is you feel me try to just be more relatable e even if you don't know how to add some water or emotion behind it to make the vibration um more nice and not so heavy you feel me more genuine and shit so there's many different ways you can do that you could utilize the water element to make the vibration 
more connected with whoever it is you're criticizing so they don't got to feel like you're just a cold disconnected motherfucker from from life and other people or you could use the air element and just learn how to be more relatable with how you criticize shit like give out disclaimers like yeah i i I know this is um um i know you you rock with this and this is your opinion on that but um um i'm gonna have to like i said the libra shit you can learn to disagree agree to disagree respectfully if you got to do that you feel me but um so yeah just learn to be less harsh when criticizing another thing too is learn not to take anything too serious you know um because with with venus don't like to take shit too serious virgo does so with venus falling in virgo you don't you don't want to take everything so serious when it comes to venus type energies you feel me um another thing too focus on perfecting your relatability you feel me since venus is is the relating planet and and venus falls in virgo just like i said utilize more of that air element or the water element to make yourself more relatable to whoever it is you're relating with you feel me and like i said earlier you know try 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 if it's not called for or if it's not that important or whatever you feel me motherfuckers could care less about your two cents or critique on something so sometimes it's, it's best for virgo and venus type situations where everybody's just chilling and having a good time sometimes it's just best for you to shut your shut your ass up shut your mercury chakra head ass up like you, not everything needs to be um criticized and shit like that you feel me so and you, and and anytime you're in these situations of just chilling and relaxing man just learn to go with the flow utilize more of that pisces energy that opposite energy of pisces be more with the mutable water and just god damn it just go with the flow don't and 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 have fun in the party instead of being a party pooper you feel me real shit that's it that's it and oh yeah one more thing another thing y'all want to be aware of venus and virgo or sun moon and ascendance is that when it comes to venus type energy and venus represents like beauty and the pleasures of life uh when it comes to the word or the energy of beauty y'all want it y'all got y'all got to understand that the things that you perceive as flaws especially when it comes to beauty and shit it's all subjective to a certain degree you feel me like like i know like life is both objective and subjective but you got to understand that the objective of reality is just all the sub- subjectivities put together that's it so at the end of the fucking day what you view as a flaw as a virgo um it's just sub- it's subjective you feel me nine times out of ten is subjective now if it's some, a flaw that we can all agree on like like being a motherfucking murderer or, or or a rapist or some shit then okay then yeah you could see that flaw and, and it's not subjective that's a, that's an objective flaw at least in this human reality you feel me that we can all agree on that yeah this is this is objectively not cool that's a human trait that is a flaw but when it comes to all the other shit like criticizing somebody's um looks or criticizing somebody's uh personality and shit like that like a lot of these things could be subjective so you don't want to um with venus you know venus is like like i said earlier beauty is in the eye of the beholder so you you criticizing what you think is a flaw that's part of why venus falls in virgo because um it's all subjective that's my point and i'm gonna end part two right there part three we're gonna do mars falls in cancer jupiter falls in capricorn and if i can fit it in the title i'll I'll do saturn falls in aries as well if not then i'll just make that part four but anyway yeah that's this is this is mercury and venus the falls of mercury and venus peace